It's pretty obvious by now that movie theaters charge insanely high prices for popcorn, soda, and even candy. As a matter of fact, I'm sure almost all of you have snuck in candy into the movie theater to avoid paying like $5 for a $1 box of candy. So today I thought it would be fun if I got a ton of candy from the local dollar store, drove to the movie theater, and then sell the candy in front of the movie theater. This video is super risky to film. I'm really nervous to get caught, but I know it's going to be worth it for you guys because you showed a bunch of support on the first episode of Risky Business, and I thought, hey, why not film a second episode because you guys showed so much support. So to start, I'm going to drive to the dollar store and I'm going to get a bunch of candy and soda and I'm even going to get another poster board so that I can use it as a sign to advertise my candy selling services. So guys, I'm going to take you with me to the dollar store right now. I just left the dollar store and it's raining really hard outside, so I apologize for the noise. I picked up a poster board, which is in my trunk. I got some cola right here, and I even got a bunch of candy boxes, as you can see. I'm gonna be going over everything I bought and how much projected profit I'll make if I sell everything as soon as I get home. All right, guys, so it's been about a day since I purchased the poster board and all of the candy and soda that I'm going to be reselling at the movie theater. So as you guys can see, I have a ton of candy and soda right here in front of me, and I'm gonna be going over how much I paid for everything and how much I am going to be selling it for and how much projected profit I'm gonna make. So as you can see, I have M&Ms, Milk Duds, and Whoppers for like my chocolate selection of candy. These were all $1 and I'm gonna sell them for $2. If that doesn't sell at that price, I'm gonna try it at $1.50, but I'm gonna try it for $2 right now. And then I also have Sour Patch Kids. I bought these both for a dollar. I'm gonna sell them for $2. And then I bought these three packs of Skittles, all different types, original, wild berry, and then sour. All of these were also bought for a dollar and I'm gonna sell them for two bucks. And then I bought Swedish Fish and Nerds as well. I bought these also for a dollar and I'm gonna sell them for two dollars. And then lastly, I bought this 12 pack of cola cans. I bought this for five dollars and I'm gonna sell them each for a dollar and there's 12 in here, so I'm gonna make seven bucks profit on this. So guys, in total, I spent $16 on 10 boxes of candy, one 12 pack of cola, and then also I spent $1 on this poster board for advertising right here. If I sell everything, I will make a total of $32 in revenue. So basically, I'll be able to double my money if I'm able to sell all of these for $2 each and if I'm able to sell all of these cans for $1, which is actually not bad. Doubling your money is always a good thing, so hopefully I'll be able to double my money and sell everything before I get caught by the movie theater employees. Now that we've got the candy and the soda, the only thing we still have to do before we go to the movie theater to sell candy is we have to complete our sign to market our product. So guys, with that all being said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this blank poster board into an awesome advertising sign for the candy selling business.
I completely finished my advertising sign right here. I basically just said candy and soda for sale right up here really big. And then I put cola $1, candy $2 down here for my prices. And then I also did a special of the day where you can get one candy and one cola for $2.50. And that will kind of help me sell out of everything fast enough before I get caught by employees of the movie theater. So now that this advertising billboard is all completed, it is time to head to the movie theater, set up a stand, and start selling candy. We are fully loaded in the back right here. I put the sign in the trunk, and then I also put the candy and the soda in a cooler to keep them nice and cool. And I also put some ice in here so that I can actually deliver cool products. So we're pretty much set to go on our adventure of selling candy in front of the movie theater. All right, guys, so we are right outside of the movie theater right now. We set up a little stand. We've got the candy in here, and we've got the sign. Hopefully things go pretty well. Hi. Do you guys want to buy candy from our stand instead of paying more? Yeah, we just bought some stuff. Smart. I respect that. <laughs> oh, sorry. You bought it beforehand? Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. Hi, guys. Would you guys like to buy candy from our stand instead of paying more inside? Okay, we're just getting popcorn. Ah, okay. Well, you can get drinks for from us cheaper. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, cool. What are you selling? Candy. Candy? Yeah, I'm selling it cheaper than in there, and then we also sell drinks. Cool. Yeah. Diet? Uh, only regular, sorry. Ah, it was a failure because we don't have enough selection. Ah, I didn't want to take too big of the risk, but I should have dispersed into different like colas, but I can only buy one 12 pack. Do you guys want to buy from our candy stand instead of paying more inside? We would, but we aren't going to buy any candy. Smart, smart. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your movie. Do you guys want to buy candy or soda from our stand instead of paying more inside? It's, it's not legal, but it's like, you know, I mean, I just want to offer a better service. Because they feel like they charge like $5 inside. So All right, like, no, no. All right, well, enjoy your movie. Thank you. All right, guys, so we've been outside the movie theater for like 25 to 30 minutes now. Honestly, we haven't gotten any results, and the reason for that is there's almost no one in the parking lot. Go ahead and show them, like, there's literally almost no one here. It's basically empty. So what we're thinking about doing is actually taking a break, looking for the show times more towards the evening, and then coming back towards nighttime to sell candy at the movie theater once again. So I ended up spending the rest of the afternoon looking online trying to figure out when would be the best time to go to the movie theater to sell candy and I actually figured out that between 7 and 8.30 would be the best time window to reach the most possible people for my candy selling business. Okay guys, so we are back at it again with the candy sales and as you can see Outside, go ahead and show them. There are way more people here. We were right about things. 7 p.m. is the time to start selling candy in front of the movie theater. I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. I just got here. We're gonna be here for about an hour, so who knows how much we can sell. Do you guys wanna buy candy from our stand instead of getting ripped off inside? I already have some, thank you though. I respect that. We've also got soda, but we only have Coke right now, so. Sorry about that. Enjoy your movie. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> no problem. Smart, yeah. <laughs> It'll be our secret. For sure. Do you guys want to buy candy from our stand instead of paying more inside? No? Good. I respect that. Good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. It's well. I'm. I'm trying to offer people a better service. It's worth the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not gonna get arrested. I don't Hope think not, so. Not at least. 
Okay guys, so we've been outside for quite a bit. I've asked a bunch of different people. Most of them have said no. Um, it's a little bit harder than I thought. Do you guys want to buy candy from our stand instead of paying more inside? We've got candy and we've got Coke and we charge way less than they do inside. Yeah, I think we should get sure. some candy. Yeah. I'll get a sour patch. I'll take nerds. Nerds of the day. Uh, I'll take a we Swedish only fish. Swedish fish? Do you guys want to buy candy from our stand instead of paying more inside? Oh, um, I just want to make sure you guys are getting the best service possible. <laughs> yeah, we have, well, we we only have Coke right now, but it's a dollar, a dollar for a can of Coke. Okay. All right. Thank you. I don't know where you're gonna put it. Just hide it. Just hide it. All right. You're nice and cold. There you go. Thanks, man. Thank you. Enjoy your movie. Buy candy from our stand instead of paying way more inside. I love that's a great idea, but I'm not gonna get it. We also sell Coke. <laughs> you want a Coke? Yeah, I want Coke. Okay. How much is Coke? One dollar. Oh, perfect. Way better than inside. Right, right? absolutely. Yeah. Is this legal? <laughs> not really. No, but well, right. like, we want to offer a better service and make sure you guys are being offered the best service possible. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye, have a good day. Do you guys want to buy candy from our stand instead of paying like way more inside? Oh, you can't do that here. You can't? You can't do that here. You can't? We'll leave. Thank you. It's, it's good business sense? Yeah. Okay, I mean, as an entrepreneur. We just got caught. That was so awkward when the guy walked out and he was like, you guys got to leave. You guys got to leave. And I was like, oh crap. So I just grabbed all my stuff immediately, pretended that I didn't know we couldn't, you know, sell candy in front of the movie theater. But it's pretty obvious that we knew we weren't supposed to be doing that. But at least it didn't get too mad. We made like six bucks and 50 cents before we eventually did get caught, which is honestly not that bad for like 50 minutes of standing outside the movie theater and pitching our candy selling services to people. I'm really mad at whoever reported us, but hey, it's business. Sometimes stuff like that happens. But once I get home, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, you know, how much we spent, how much we earned and how much candy we still have left over to sell. Okay guys, I have arrived back home and after thinking about my experience of selling candy in front of the movie theater, I have come to a conclusion that I haven't exactly failed with this and I definitely have not succeeded with this. I spent $16 on candy and brought in revenue of $6.50. Although that does sound like a complete fail, I still have all of that candy and soda left to sell and I'm sure that I will be able to sell it at different locations as the Risky Business series continues going forward. If we do any more candy selling related episodes, I won't have to buy more candy as I already have a bunch in storage. Okay guys, I think that's going to about wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like on this video as these videos take a lot of time and effort to record edit and produce for you guys so if you can drop 40 likes on today's video i will make another risky business episode next monday for you guys with that all being said thank you so much if you made it to the end peace out